Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. So now we're going to do tutorial discussion for chapter 6, focusing on the subtopic of 6.1, introduction to benzene, as well as the subtopic of 6.2, which is nomenclature of benzene and its derivative. We're going to focus on two questions, which is tutorial question 1 and the tutorial question 2, respectively. Without any further ado, let us start. So for tutorial question 1, we have to draw the structural formula for each of the following compounds. So for A, we're going to have 1, 3, 5, Tri nitrobenzene. So, in order to draw the structural formula, first we need to know our um, parent chain. So, we know that our parent is benzene. Okay, so we're going to draw a benzene. So, you can draw a circle here or you can draw it in terms of the carbon carbon double bond. So, it doesn't matter. Okay, so at carbon number one, and it is going to be attached with a nitro group. So, the nitro group is going to have a atom, a group of atom of NO2. So this is going to be carbon number 1, 2, 3. So at now carbon number 3, they're going to be another nitro. NO2 here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So now at number 5, they're going to be another nitro group. Okay. Okay. So this are known as 1, 3, 5, trinitro benzene. Okay, now we're going to do question C, which is P metal benzaldehyde. Okay, so here is the special name of the benzene. So benzaldehyde means that the benzene is attached with the aldehyde group. Okay, so we're going to do a benzene. And the benzaldehyde comes from the special name where it is attached with a aldehyde group, which is carbon 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 double bond a uh, carbon double bond with oxygen and attached with a hydrogen okay so this attached with a special group here this carbon here that attached to the dysfunctional group going to be carbon number one okay so number one here and then two three four will be attaching with another group okay because you know that para refers to one four Metal benzyl dehyde. Okay, so if the question asks for ortho metal methyl benzyl dehyde, it refers to 1 2 methyl benzyl dehyde. If para ortho meta, okay, so meta refers to 1 3. If para refers to 1 4. Okay, so you need to be able to convert that. So, methyl going to be attached at carbon number 4. So, CH3 here. Okay. So, it's going to be um, P-methylbenzaldehyde or 1,4-methylbenzaldehyde. Okay. So, these are the structure for E. If you were to draw it nicely, so you can draw it in the cyclic. Um, structure in the middle of the benzene or you can draw it as a carbon carbon double bond and single bond as shown here so both are accepted and this is the structure for the metal benzaldehyde where in this case the C double bond OH is written as the condensed structure so COH refer to the C double bond OH which refers to the functional group of carbonyl attached with hydrogen so this refers to aldehyde okay carbonyl of the aldehyde okay so this is the same structure as i drawn here and then you're going to take number one two three and four so the same thing now we're going to do structure f which is isopropyl benzene so we're going to draw a benzene with six carbon and then it's going to be attached with isopropyl so isopropyl means that it's going to be having three carbon because propyl right so one this is one carbon another one here and another one here so it look like y because isopropyl mean that it is symmetry so if you were to divide that one gonna be upwards one gonna be downwards but the total number of carbon is still the same which is three carbon which refers to propyl but isopropyl gonna have the y shape okay 
if the normal propyl, you will have a straight line. One, two, three, like a zigzag. But here, going to be Y-shape. Okay, so this is the structure of for the isopropyl benzene as shown here. Okay, so you can draw it in the expanded structure or you can draw it in the skeleton structure. Now, for question number two, we have to write the names for the following compound. So we have compound A here. So for this compound, uh, we will have an alkene chain which have a functional group. So when there is a functional group, this one going to be the parent chain instead of the benzene. Okay, so this is the priority group. So for the uh, straight chain here, you're going to have one, two, three, four. So it's going to be a butane, but then it because it's attaching with a carboxyl group, which is refers to the class of carboxylic acid, so it's going to be butanoic acid. Where butane refers to a acid that contains four carbon. Now, at carbon number 2, it will be attaching with a substituent, benzene substituent, which is, has a formula of C6H5. So, this refers to phenyl group. Okay, so it's going to be 2-phenyl butanoic acid. Okay, it is not known as benzyl because benzyl is going to be C6H5. And then you're going to have a CH2 at the start here. And this is known as benzyl. Okay, so be careful. This is known as phenyl. The benzyl will have extra carbon chain. And then only it will be attaching with the benzene ring. So here I refer to the CH2. Okay, so this is the benzyl group. This one is the phenyl group. Okay, so it's going to be 2-phenyl butanoic acid as shown here. So for structure C, um, we're going to do the benzene going to be the parent name and it attached with 2 halogen. So we're going to denumber the halogen starting from the alphabetical order. So Br is B, right? Which is promo. And here is iodo. So it's going to take number 1, 2, 3, and 4. So it's going to be 1 bromo, 4 iodo benzene. Or you can change 1 and 4 here to be para. So it's going to be para, promo, iodine, ben, iodo, benzene. Okay. Now we're going to do question D. So for question D, uh, the benzene is attached with N, NO2, CH3, nitro group, and Cl. So here you need to identify whether they have a special name. In lecture, I told you there are six special names. So, for, if you were to look back at the slide, the special name that, that can be taken from here is this structure here, where this refers to toluene special name. Okay, for the special name, the carbon that attached to the substituent is going to get the number one. Okay, so you can do this as number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. So, the parent name is going to be toluene. And then, at carbon number 4, it's going to have chloro. And then, we're going to have 2 nitro group. So, it's going to be dinitro. Okay? So, chloro is attached at carbon number 4. So, it's going to be 4 chloro. And dinitro is going to attach at carbon number 2 and carbon number 6. So, dash 2, 6, dinitro, toluene. Okay? So, the name is going to be 4 chloro. Dash two six dinatro twenty eight. All right. So I think that's all for today's video. See you again some other time. Bye.